I am 10 years old and Atlantis is in the theater. I see it with my cousin and in Milo Thatch, I see everything I want for my life. My cousin thinks it's weird, but she's grateful that I don't fight her for the position of princess. I don't fully understand why I want to be Milo so badly. I won't for another 16 years. I am 12 years old. Oregon has passed a constitutional amendment. Gay marriage is officially, again, illegal. Two of my mom's friends abruptly find that their marriage is annulled. I am aware that I am different. I am aware that my rights are less important than the comfort of adults. I am starting to learn how hateful people are. I am 13 years old. I've just had all of my hair cut off because I want to look like Gerard Way. I don't look like Gerard Way. I look like a girl with short hair and I hate it. I wear baggy clothes all the time. I start cutting. I am 14 years old. Olivia kisses me behind the music building. She says, I wish you were a boy. I wish I was too. I am 16 years old and Brendy tells me I wish you were a boy. It stings even more than it did two years ago. Six months later, two of my friends come out as trans. Later, I will look back at this as the beginning of something. I am 24 years old. My transgender boyfriend is helping me pick out a binder. I don't know what pronouns to use because they all fit wrong. I go to a trans support group for a while, but I quit because when a rift happens in the group and they want to create a trans only space without allies or family members or significant others, I sort myself into the not trans enough category and I don't come back. I am 28 years old. I am a transmasculine, non-binary person, queer, genderqueer, they, them. That's how a lot of my conversations in queer spaces start. Nobody ever uses the right pronouns. Sometimes I still feel not trans enough. Sometimes I still feel that certain spaces aren't for me, but I'm learning. I'm learning to fully inhabit the space that I occupy.